All right, hello, and welcome to Camel Finance. I'm your boy Camel, and today I want to briefly invite you to put on your tin foil hat, go to the kitchen, grab some foil, stick it on your head, because we're going to go down a bit of a strange path. Um, understand that I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm simply going to point at things and say, what do you think of that? Then if you think anything of it, you can go and do some own, your own research. Like I'm not here to try to shield you anything. I'm not here to try to convince you of anything. I'm just here to give you my opinion on something which quite frankly has been bothering me of late. We have continuously seen Elon Musk be talked about on Twitter. Elon has been painted as this picture, this savior, this, this guy that's going to fix Twitter and get rid of the bots and it's all fine. But I just wanted to point at a few things and, and get you to think about this. Okay, here was his Halloween costume. This is Baphomet, the chief of demons. Maybe it's just a Halloween costume. Maybe there's nothing more to it. Maybe this is just for show. You can make up your own mind on that. One thing we do know for sure is this guy is obsessed with the letter X, okay? He has X.com, which was changed to PayPal after a merge in around 2000, I think. Elon then repurchases the X.com domain in 2015. He, of course, owns a company called SpaceX. He has a car model called the Tesla Model X. His child is named X-Ash. That's how it's pronounced, and it's written like this, X-Ash, A12, Musk. And he has another child called Xa Dark, whatever that says, Musk. Okay, so there are various other examples of his fascination with the letter X, you can go and do your own research. One thing I know for sure is if you are well versed in this word here, which means the hidden world, the hidden practices, okay, I don't think I'm allowed to say this, but this word here, if you're well versed in this, if you understand this, then all of this stuff becomes quite intuitive to you. Once you understand this stuff and you, you understand how it works and the symbolism they use, you can never unsee it. Okay, I happen to be quite well versed in this, so let's keep going. We know he's got this fascination with the letter X. X here, like I said, if you know where to look, is an ancient symbol for change or transformation long associated with medieval and renaissance art, with the coming of the Messiah who shall make all things new. Okay, and this is a quote from Jim Tresner, who's a 33rd degree Mason. Okay, stick with me if you're starting to think I've lost my mind because I'm going to come off this topic very shortly. Something else the letter X symbolizes, again, if you know where to look, is it's the sign of Osiris, which is a great Egyptian sun god. So I'm going to quickly burn through a few things here for you. Here is the Osiris, the sun god. Notice the X in the arms. And as you're doing this, you'll probably will think of Tutankhamun. Again, you see this X here as well. Let's keep going because this is all through Hollywood. There are nods to this. You can keep looking. Even some of your favorite celebrities. I'm not a celebrity person myself. Okay, you'll find modified versions like this with the three sixes thrown up. You'll also find this, which is a nod to the horn god Baphomet, the chief of demons that we saw at the start on Elon Musk's Halloween costume. Here is another nod to one of these things. Okay, and here is the depiction of Baphomet, which, as I said, is on Elon's Halloween costume. Maybe it's nothing, okay? Also, here he is stood with his mum. If you don't know about his mum, go and check that out, okay? That is a rabbit hole in and of itself, far beyond the remit of this channel. One last thing I'd like to point out, okay? Again, these people mock you in plain sight. They do this right to your face because you're ignorant. You do not understand what they are doing. They have a term for people that are not in the know. It's the vile, the vulgar, and the uninformed, okay? They mock you to your face, and they say that if you are too ignorant to notice it, then you deserve everything you get. So, X... Put the letter X in a Gamontria calculator, something else, which by the way, you can go and research in your own time and something else the elites are obsessed with, will spit out a reduction of six. Why is this significant? Because X equals six. We also see this riddled throughout culture in movies. Okay, we see it in music. And of course, triple X in the adult industry. Three sixes, there it is, all day long. I've said enough on all of this. That's, that's too much, frankly. You can go and research this if you're interested. But the point I'm trying to make here is whilst everyone is looking at this man as a savior, somebody who champions free speech, freedom, understand you could not have it more wrong. He is talking about having bought Twitter, creating the everything app, turning Twitter and using Twitter to accelerate the everything app. What exactly is an everything app? The concept of an everything app, often referred to as a super app, is massively popular in Asia and tech companies across Okay, Asia, red flag right away. Nobody wants to live like they live, do they? Especially not pertaining to their technology and their app control. The Everything app has been described as a Swiss army knife, offering a suite of services such as messaging, social network, peer-to-peer -peer payments, and e-commerce. Well, that actually sounds quite convenient, doesn't it? But they always paint it in a light that makes it sound like it's nice. Meanwhile, they operate in plain sight, like I've shown you before, clearly pushing a different agenda. These mega apps are widely used in Asia as the main form of access to the internet for many people. 
okay? And at the same time, the Chinese have their own version of this called WeChat, and it is ubiquitous to daily life in China. They can hail a taxi, they can send money, speak to family or friends, but of course, all of this is monitored by the Chinese government. It's all connected to a social credit score system and a digital ID and a central bank digital currency. If you send a message to one of your friends and they don't like it, they will fine you, they will knock your social credit score down, you won't be able to go shopping, buy food, access transport, okay? This is a very bad thing, and this is what this man is pushing. This is what this guy is, and people are championing this guy, like, oh, he's gonna fix bots, he's gonna charge us $8 a month to, pay for, to get rid of the bots and to make Twitter free speech again, and we're not gonna get banned for speaking your mind. No, 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 no. That's the guys. Okay, that's the smoke and mirrors whilst they usher in a Chinese social credit score system with digital IDs, track and trace, CBDCs. This is not good. This guy is championing this Mark of the Beast system. That is enough of that. I'll take the tinfoil hat off, throw it away. If you have any more questions on this, just go and do your own research. You'll find it. It's there. 